Previously we had a manual four jaw chuck. It wasn't cut out for the work we're doing, so a power three jaw chuck is exactly what we needed. Steve, a successful business that you've got here, and of course you've invested here in this large lathe. However, what was the reason for a power chuck over a manual four jaw chuck? Uh, the reason why we went for a power chuck, four jaw chucks are typically longer to set up. We're clocking billets in. It's okay for one offs, but we typically can run up to 50 offs on this. Um, we just want to basically bang the billet in there, uh, hit the pedal, and it's clamped. And also with a power chuck, we can grip it harder and then also take material off a lot quicker as well. So let's go back one step uh, beforehand. What was happening with your manual chuck then? It's fine, however, what was the problem that it caused for yourselves? It's just the longer setup times, really. So we'd have to put a DTI on the billet, clock it in and just move each jaw in individually until the billet was spinning perfectly true. And of course, how long is that going to take? Yeah, it could take up to five to ten minutes apart sometimes, depending on the size of the part. So what was the need for needing those faster setup times and that quicker pace in getting the work through? Well, we, people know now we've got this machine and we've got a lot more work for it and we want to get work through quicker really and we don't want to be messing around clocking parts in when we can put the part in and get on with it really. So why did you go for Bison? We got recommended by our tooling supplier. Uh, very competitively priced and I've heard the service was very good, which it is. Right, okay, tell me about that service then. So the service, um, Mike came down, uh, I told him what I wanted size-wise, he measured up the machine, he took the serial number so he know what the, knew what the drawbar was, everything arrived, drawings for it, instructions how to fit it and we fitted it ourselves in about three hours. And was that easy for you to do? Yeah, much easier than I thought. And what other routes has it opened up for you? Uh, we can now do bigger parts, much heavier billets because uh, we've got the stability. Um, especially when we're doing stuff like in canal super duplex, um, we can get that gripping power and start to hit the material pretty hard. So basically, you've had this power chuck, it's been able to open up new markets for you, but also for your staff members, you know, what are they, you know, are they spending less time at the machine because the spindle's running more? Uh, yes, I guess so. Um, they, can, they can get a set of soft jaws in there and cut in, and they can get on with something else and then come back an hour later and they've got a nice set of soft jaws and they can chuck the billet straight in and know it's going to be spinning true. So the question is, would you buy it again if you were to have another lathe? If we had another lathe and it didn't come with a, a chuck, then yes, definitely. And overall, how would you rate the service that you've received from Bison then? Great. We have uh, Bison manual chucks. We've got plenty of them, so we knew the quality's there, the service is there. Um, yeah, it was perfect for us. Mm -hmm.